On September 14th of the year 2000, Microsoft released a new Windows ME operating system, which was designed to replace the then popular Windows 98. However, Windows ME was considered a flop as it had too many technical issues and many users held onto their Windows 98 machines until October 25th of 2001, when Microsoft released Windows XP. Windows XP was a game changer, a solid operating system that added the stability and functionalities that Windows 98 users are longing for. As Windows XP continued to sell like hot bread, power users began to discover a tool that was released with Windows ME, but very few people had known about. That tool was Windows Movie Maker. It should be noted though that Microsoft was not the first company to release a consumer video editing software. In 1999, Apple had released the iMovie video editing software, which was compatible with the Mac OS 8 operating system that was released two years earlier. But as we all know, Apple hardware is tied to their software and is severely overpriced. So with the exception of a few multimedia professionals, iMovie did not really have a lot of users at the time. Windows-based computers, however, were much less expensive, and if you wish, you could even assemble your own hardware and then purchase Windows XP separately. This exposed a lot of people to Windows Movie Maker in a very short time. Another thing to bear in mind is that, just around that time, digital cameras and video recorders were becoming increasingly popular. Even the videos from video cameras that were recorded on tape could now be recorded on a computer and stored in a digital format. Windows Movie Maker was a dream come true for persons like me who simply wanted to make home movies and movies for friends and were not into video editing professionally. Here is a sample of a video I made in the mid 2000s. <laughs> With the increasing popularity of social media, especially YouTube, more and more persons realize the value of making a good video, and most early videos on YouTube were created using Windows Movie Maker. As time went by though, more and more persons saw the need for a video editing software that was just as easy to use as Windows Movie Maker, but with the ability to do a lot more, in order to keep up with the stiff competition in social media. In 2015, Filmora was released, but at the time it was known as Wondershare Video Editor. Truth be told, the very first version, an express version, was released back in 2010, but the complete version, similar to what we use today, came out in 2015. In 2019, I was still using Windows Movie Maker on my very powerful Windows 10 desktop computer. However, that was the year I decided to venture into making videos for YouTube and Windows Movie Maker didn't have all the tools I needed. I downloaded a free version of Filmora and without any formal training, it was so intuitive that I was able to make a video very quickly. After realizing how easy and how powerful Filmora is, I decided to make the purchase. The paid version allowed me to export videos without a watermark and at the highest resolution possible. Whether you're doing home videos or making a movie or a documentary, Filmora has all the tools you will need and it's very easy to learn and use. The stats speak for themselves. 100 million plus users in over 150 countries, 2 million plus followers in social media, and a database of more than 5 million images and videos. In the coming months, I'll be showing you how I create some of my videos for YouTube and how you can do the same using Filmora. In the meantime, click on the link below to download your free version of Filmora. Try it for as long as you like, and if you like it, you can make the purchase. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button and click the notification, as I have some very cool videos coming out soon.